From the food we eat, the air we breathe, the land we dwell, to the health of our body and mind, and the well-being of all things in the universe. Unlock the science with Chula Radio Plus. Welcome to Unlock the Science. I'm Virada Salim. Gambling is a major business in the world and is growing fast. According to Globe Newswire, a global news distribution network specializing in providing corporate, finance, and multimedia content, the global gambling market reached a value of about 466 billion U.S. dollars in 2020, and is expected to amount to nearly 900 billion dollars in 2030. World gambling statistics also shows that around 26 percent of the population gamble. That means around 1.6 billion people worldwide gamble, and 4.2 billion people gamble at least once every year, according to another news website, Casino.org. Globe News Wire defines the gambling market as consisting of sales of gambling services and related goods by entities that operate gambling facilities such as casinos, bingo halls, video game terminals, lotteries, and off-track sports betting. It describes gambling as the act of wagering money or something of value on an event with an uncertain outcome that is not under gambler control with an intent of winning money. The gambling market is segmented by type into casino, lotteries, sports betting, and others. The lotteries market was the largest segment of the gambling market by type, accounting for 52.5% of the total market in 2020. However, sports betting is expected to be the fastest growing segment in the gambling business. Gambling is also segmented by channel type into offline, online, and virtual reality. The offline market remained the largest segment of the gambling market by channel type, accounting for 88% of the total market in 2020. However, the virtual reality segment was expected to be the fastest growing segment, according to Globe Newswire. Asia-Pacific was the region with the highest value in gambling, accounting for almost 39% of the total in 2020. It was followed by North America, Western Europe, and then the other regions. However, the fastest growing regions in the gambling market will be Middle East and Eastern Europe. Even though offline or on-site gambling still dominates the market, online gambling is projected to expand fast. The global online gambling market is expected to reach 153.6 billion US dollars by the year 2030, according to Grand View Research. The amount is almost 30% of the gross domestic product of Thailand in 2019 before the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Grand View Research is an India and United States based market research and consulting company which is registered in the state of California and headquartered in San Francisco. Grand View Research provides syndicated research reports, customized research reports, and consulting service. The company attributed the surge in online gambling to the growing consumer favor toward betting apps, which are now widely accessible and rising in number, and also to the introduction of freemium model in online gambling. Freemium is a business model in which a company offers basic or limited features to users at no cost and then charges a premium for supplemental or advanced features. The rising possession of smartphones and internet penetration also allow easier access to online gambling. Furthermore, the COVID-19 pandemic has forced people to stay at home, and online gambling was an easy and convenient leisure for many people around the world. Besides, the availability of secure options for digital payment is also stimulating the adoption of online gambling apps, The market growth will be further accelerated by the increased adoption of digital currency and websites provided by betting and gambling companies, according to Grandview Research. Up next, a Lock the Science editor and producer, Sinfa Tansarawut, talks to Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Noi Trirat, 
Director of Center for Gambling Studies, Faculty of Economics, j u l a l o n g o n University. Associate Professor Nguyen Noi will provide some context and fundamentals of global gambling, but she will also discuss about the most recent survey in 2021 of her center on gambling situation in Thailand, and what the Thai government shall do in handling the gambling business in the country. A lot of the science will delve into details of the survey in the second break. Your center for gambling study treats Thai government lottery as a kind of gambling. However, the lottery remained the most popular segment among Thai people in terms of number of people getting into it. How could the society control gambling without controlling the government lotteries? Yes, uh, I think we, uh, first we should understand about the lottery because the lottery is the most popular game in every country. And Thailand is just the same. That the number of the uh, lottery buyer in Thailand is more than 20 million people last year from the survey last year. And from our survey also, it uh, it show that it show that the, uh, on average most people buy two or three tickets of lottery every two weeks. That means uh, they they play the lottery game only twice a month. This is different from other country because for the other country, if you heard about the lotto, in some country the lotto uh, they can play lotto, uh, I think few days in a week, but for Thailand, for Thailand we just only play two uh, two times a week uh, a month, and also if you look the other problem about the the lottery, the effect of The, uh, the the effect of the lotto uh, the lottery on people who can if compared to other type of gambling uh, such as the casino football gambling we can see that the effect is is much less than the other type of uh, the gambling but anyway I think the government still should not promote too much lottery for the people do you think humans have a basic instinct to gamble? Or social mm. and economic environment, advertisement and promotion play a key role in drawing people into gambling. Particularly this day, when many television show talks about lucky numbers, in su- suggesting figures for buying lottery, either those of the government or underground. I think usually the people on everyday life. You have to take a chance of many things. For example, if you uh, go to work, you what the, the first thing you think about the traffic, and if the the traffic goes smoothly, you say, "Oh, today is my lucky day." But if the traffic is really bad, you say, "Oh, unlucky day." Something like that because we we live in the world of uh, there are so many risks. So that why an uncertainty, and that why the lottery is just. I think there are something that's uh, similar because when you buy the lottery, you don't know whether you will win or you will lose on that, and that why is some kind of you take a risk in everyday life, and I think this is the basic instinct of the people of the people. But we know that that in the game, in the game of the gambling, we. Uh, It's really hard to win the game. In the 2021 survey, it seems Thai people still prefer traditional activities to online gambling, such as what we have discussed, uh, lottery. But trends show online gambling is growing fast. In Thailand, do you think online gambling will become the dominant gambling segment in the future? If Uh, if I had to answer this, I have to say that I still don't know. But I can explain some uh, uh, characteristic of the of, of the uh, situation and also the gambling, because uh, the year of uh, 2021 is the different from other year because we have the problem of the outbreak of the COVID 19 and also because the effect of the COVID 19 uh, I think uh, affect on many uh, economic activities because we have to stay apart 
we have to this uh, we have to have the dissent. We cannot get a uh, gathering together, and that's why some activities were closed. But but some activity can uh, could continue. Gambling are I think gambling uh, games are the same. That some games that uh, need the place for the big place for the people to to gather, and okay. these. Uh, for example, uh, such as the casino or the sport event, so this this kind of game will be affected by by the uh, the, the COVID nineteen. But some game, for example, uh, lottery, underground lottery, they 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 don't need the place together for large people, so they can continue. When you ask about whether the the casino online will dominate in in the future or not in Thailand, I, I I cannot answer this. But we can see the the example of the Las Vegas. After the US opened the uh, for the uh, every activity activities in 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 the country, the. The Las Vegas has been back, and we can see the the last part of people back to the Las Vegas. And when we look at the uh, revenue of the casino in Las Vegas, it has been grow, it has been picked up, picked up very really, very really fast. That means the people still like to come to play the casino on site because for the on site you you see the people you can see the people you meet the people and you can have some kind of social activities not for the online for the online you pay alone you still alone even you you enjoy it very much but you still alone as we have discussed you know um that the government might 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 be thinking about legalize particularly uh land based or uh, offline casino in the future, but in the meantime, before any upcoming legalization, how would you suggest the Thai government to handle gambling? Except for the for the lottery, the other the other gambling are illegal. I think the government should show at least should show at least about the enforcement because uh, everyone think uh, we have the weak enforcement. If we accept the the reality, we have to accept that our, the gambling law is really really old. It issue I think is it is issue in the year nineteen thirty five. It's really low, so we should have uh, we should have a proper law that lay down the infrastructure so that include about the regulation, treatment, prevention for vulnerable people, and so on. Many things that we can we can study from the law in in other country to lay down on this, and I, I think the first thing they should amend this uh, the the gambling law. That is Unlock the Science editor and producer Sinfa Tansarawood talking to Associate Professor Dr. Nuenoy Triyurat, Director of Center for Gambling Studies, Faculty of Economics, Jalalongkorn University. We will take a short break now. You are listening to Unlock the Science on Chula Radio Plus. Gambling is also a popular activity among many Thai people. In Thailand, more people, particularly the young ones, are getting into gambling, both offline and online, and the business is also drawing rising amount of money. In a 2021 survey by Center for Gambling Studies of Faculty of Economics, Chula Lumpur University. It was found that almost 60% of Thai people who were 15 years old or older, or 32.3 million people, and almost equal in number between men and women, played some kind of gambling. Compared to the number in the previous survey in 2019, there were almost two million more people in gambling. The survey also found that in 2021, almost 800,000 Thai people got into gambling for the first time. A 10% increase from 2019. Among all the people in gambling in 2021, 4.3 million were children and young people in the age from 15 to 25, while another about 4 million were those at 60 or older. The survey by the Center for Gambling Studies was conducted with Thai people of 15 years old or older from the second half of February to early April 2021 
in 24 provinces across the country, with almost 7,000 samples. The center regards Thai government lotteries, which are issued by the government lottery office, which is a state agency, as a kind of gambling. But in its survey, about half of the respondents did not see buying the lotteries as a kind of gambling. The center estimated that 24.6 million Thais bought government lotteries in 2021, the most popular type of gambling among Thai people. It was followed by underground lottery with 19.2 million people. Betting on cards and footballs are other favorites. In its survey and studies, the Center for Gambling Studies regards any Thai person who has been into any kind of gambling even just for one time. For instance, buying a single government lottery in the past 12 months as being a gambler. In the survey, Respondents were also asked to self-evaluate themselves whether they are a problem gambler or not. It was estimated that one-fifth or 6.6 million of the gamblers saw themselves as problem gamblers. The respondents were then tested by a specific questionnaire on gambling addition, resulting in an estimation that about 3.5 million Thai people are problem gamblers. Among members in this group, it is estimated that about 130,000 are children aged 15 to 18, and another 470,000 are young people at the age of 19 to 25. However, the Center for Gambling Studies has not evaluated the number of pathological gamblers among these problem gamblers. Pathological gamblers are seen as those who would need psychological or psychiatric treatment for their gambling addiction. Thai children and young people at the age of 18 to 25 prefer government and underground lotteries to betting on results of football games. Though in terms of number of people, gambling on footballs was less popular than buying government lotteries, money circulated was over $1 billion U.S. dollars higher. In the 2021 survey, it was estimated that 3.9 billion US dollars was spent on government lotteries compared to 5.1 billion dollars in football betting. Though online gambling, or to be more specific, online casino remains a small segment of gambling in Thailand in terms of people involved in it, the growth both in terms of people and money circulated is skyrocketing. The number of Thai people who played online casino in 2021 more than doubled from the number in 2019 to 1.9 million people, while the money circulated more than quadrupled to 3 billion US dollars in the same period of time. The most popular game in online casino among Thai people is Bakara, but slot machine is cashing up as it needs no skills in the games. The survey by the Center for Gambling Studies also showed that almost all of those who played online casino did it through their cell phones. Over 90% of the respondents said they turned into online gambling because it was convenient, simple, and accessible at any place and any time. Online casino is also the most addictive to problem gamblers. Researchers of Center for Gambling Studies noted that unlike on-site or offline gambling, Operators of online gambling could gather information and behaviors of players in allowing them to tailor any advertisements or promotional offers to suit specific needs of individual players, which could make them even more addicted to the online gambling. Apart from Thai government lotteries, most of other mainstream types of gambling, including both on-site and online casinos, are illegal under Thai law. Since casino is illegal in Thailand, Thai people have been visiting neighboring countries, both on the east and west, to gamble. However, during the COVID-19 pandemic, all the borders areas were closed for any travel, turning Thai people then to online gambling. According to reports in local Thai press, a group of politicians belonging to small political parties submitted in May 2022 a draft in hope to amend the current gambling law to legalize casinos and online gambling. The existing gambling law in Thailand was enacted in 1935 before the beginning of the Second World War 
and three years after Thailand, then still known as Siam, changed from absolute monarchy to constitutional monarchy. The law, only last slightly amended in 1962, virtually bars all kinds of gambling in the country. Up next, a l o c k the science editor and producer Sin Fa Tan s a r a w u t talks to Dr. n a t a g o n Wititanon, a faculty of humanities and social sciences, Chiang Mai Ratchaphat University. Dr. n a t a g o n is also a researcher of the Center for Gambling Studies and has authored various publications on gambling. You have mentioned that um, during the COVID-19, online casino has become very, very popular among Thai people. What do you think are the reasons that make online casino popular among Thai gamblers? The 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 big thing is because of the border closed. All border allow country closed. Mostly mostly casino uh located in in the 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 border area. For example, in in t a i l a in Myanmar and 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 in a uh, boy bed in Cambodia, and after the After the the uh, border closed, people gamble. They they look for the 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 new way to to pay gambling, and they found that the the uh, the new kind of gambling is a uh, online casino. Why why we know this? Because of I check from the 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 uh, like uh, uh, result from search on the Google. The very the word very popular on that time is a uh, casino online. Uh, Uh, Bakala or like something like that. It seems that uh, online gambling could become more popular than on-site or land-based gambling in the near future. How should the authorities deal with this trend? Uh, we 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 can learn the lesson from from many country and then and each country they 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 have a diff, different policy. If you look. The the gambling is a bad thing, and you you have to control. You have to protect the society. You you should shut down. You should uh, you should have to make the the new modern law to 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 uh, for for effective law enforcement in, in, in the near future. That is the 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 uh, the first way. If you have another way, if you 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 need the money, you have to fix the 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 bad economy. You, you, the government need money. Maybe you you think different. Maybe you have to legalize uh, some kind of of gambling. Uh, some country should 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 uh should second way, and some country should the 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 first way. Depend on your 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 government policy. But but for 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 Thai, I think that. The big problem we we cannot deny the 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 effect of of the uh online casino. If you if you heard if you follow the new many many new we have it very many harm new it relate to the 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 online casino. You have to the control. You have to shut down all website. You have to you have to. Uh, campaign. You have to campaign to to protect the children, to access to the 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 uh, illegal website. In your book, in the book you have written, you said the global global trend show that government would become more lenient with online gambling. Should Thailand follow the global trend? For Thai people, for 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 country, I think we we have to consider to 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 legalize some kind some kind of gambling, especially the the uh sport gambling. Because of this is the popular gambling, you know, Thai people when when you see when you watch the live live football match from from Facebook. And you 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 read the comment under the under the uh live score. You found they said about they said about uh, I got money. I lose money. I need one more goal. They said about this because that that show they they also pay. They also gambling for for this man. 
and this is really popular in Thai. Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Noi suggests that the Thai government shall be stricter in their law enforcement on gambling. For instance, the law prohibits any sale of government lotteries to people younger than 20. But people as young as 15 were found to prefer buying government lotteries to any other types of gambling. She also remarked on whether online gambling would remain popular after the COVID-19 pandemic, as evidence shows people have returned in large number to on-site casinos in Las Vegas in the United States, and casino revenue there has been picking up fast. As an economist, Associate Professor Nguyen Noi also said that in handling gambling, the government needs to control the supply side in not allowing too many gambling products and making it not too easy to access gambling. Then, it should also control the demand side in creating awareness and educate the general public in allowing them to make informed decisions. Finally, the government should try to reduce gambling harms in the society by, for instance, prohibiting young people to getting into gambling, allowing no adv- advertisements, and making treatments available for those who are addicted to gambling. Dr. Natagon saw that it is unavoidable that the Thai government would eventually legalize some kinds of gambling in the future, as the government could not control the activities, particularly those online gambling, of which the operators and servers are located overseas. He agrees with allowing sports or football betting, but not online gambling, as it could even draw more Thai people into the activities. Along the science, would like to thank Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Noi Triurat, Director of Center for Gambling Studies, Faculty of Economics, Jalalongon University, and Dr. Natagon Witithanon, a Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Chiang Mai Ratchapat University. I hope you enjoy our program. You can listen to Unlock the Science on Jula Radio Plus at FM 101.5 every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. You can also listen and follow us on our website, curadio.chula.ac.th, and our Facebook page. Our show is also accessible as podcasts, including on Apple and Spotify. See you again next Saturday. Have a nice day. Unlock the Science is edited and produced by Sinfa Dunsorawood. <laughs>